Carol Conley, one of our sponsors from the Christian Civic League of Maine, has another question, and we'll begin with Bruce Paul. Kai Feldblum, who is the U.S. Commissioner of the Equal Opportunity Commission in the United States in the Obama administration, when she was a law professor at Georgetown University, said when it comes to the conflict between civil rights and religious rights, that civil rights will always trump religious rights. I would like to know whether you agree with that or not, and if you do not, I would ask you to tell us specifically what you would do as a U.S. Senator to protect citizens, workers, religious institutions who find themselves in a the conflict of conscience in regard to areas such as we've described, abortion in the health field, uh, those that are uh, in regard to contraception that we recently see, and also in regard to same-sex marriage or any other religious issue where someone may find themselves in that conflict. I think, thank you, it's a good question, I appreciate it very much. Uh, I think the Constitution protects American citizens both with their religious beliefs and also their civil liberties. I think that's very clear. Now, when you have this recent example of the federal government mandating uh, the availability of contraceptives and specific health plans, uh, I'm completely against that for a number of different reasons. First of all, I think that women who want to have uh, available uh, contraceptives, and uh, they will have those, but the federal government should not mandate insurance companies, the private sector, to create specific policies, specific uh, uh, products. They can do that themselves, and I'm sure contraception will be available to women uh, and men. However, when it comes to religious belief, uh, if the federal government is mandating specific insurance policies, uh, to, uh, to provide that product against the religious beliefs of those institutions that support that plan, that is a clear, in my mind, violation of someone's religious beliefs. As a United States Senator, I would vote against that. You know, one of the things a lot of people don't, don't know about is there are the conscientious objectors, objectors clause for doctors who don't want to perform abortions. And yet to graduate from medical school, you must perform one. You must be able to do this. We have already taken away the rights of these people who have conscientious objections to some of the things that you most and I most reject. There should not be a competition for rights. When the people who wrote our Constitution looked ahead, they didn't say, your right trumps mine. They said that we all have rights. And one of the first ones they agreed to, that they knew that we needed, was our rights to hold our own religious beliefs. What we have done is to take tax policy, education policy, and every kind of other place where Congress has put its hands and it doesn't belong, and they have managed to fashion rules to make sure that while they speak about your conscientious objections, and they recognize your religious objections, and they promise you that you will be protected. They have taken it all away with a pen and a paragraph and sometimes a treatise. And it's time for us to take that back. Thank you. You know, this goes so far. My children were not allowed to say Merry Christmas in school. They weren't allowed to have anything that resembles Christmas. I told my children, make sure every day you tell your teacher Merry Christmas. <laughs> I will stand behind them 100%. These are the problems that we have when these uh, civil liberty union, uh, groups get involved. Anytime we, the people, want to say anything, about God or against, or I mean, for God and for the commandments or for religion, were frowned upon by the press. The press loves it. The liberal press jumps all over it all the time. 
And the problem we have is that for too long, we've allowed judges to legislate from the bench. We put judges in there that side on the groups of the civil liberties and avoiding the Constitution. Again, legislating from the bench that the means of one outweigh the means of many. That's the problem we have. The first book that our founding fathers put forth for education was the Holy Bible. Not allowed to have that in school now. You're not, you know, some places you walk into school, if you're not a Christian-based school and you have a Bible, they're going to tell you that you can't have that. Or if you have a shirt that has anything religious on it, they're going to make you take it off. Because you're afraid about getting sued or you're going to offend someone. These are the problems we have, and as I would vote, you know, I would do everything I can to, to fight these civil liberties union uh, groups completely. Carol, can I ask you to tell me again who said this? Kai Feldblum, that's the U.S. Commissioner of the Equal Opportunity Commission. Well, I presume that this individual is probably a lawyer, and I'm not a lawyer, but I, I, I know enough about the United States Constitution not to confuse the fact that there is, that, that religious rights are a civil liberty. In fact, in the United States Constitution, we have a Bill of Rights. Many of those rights are expressed in the First Amendment, which is Article One of the Bill of Rights, which expressly Gives, it protects religion from encroachment by the government. And I, I, I find it remarkable that somebody in that kind of position would not understand the first principle that civil liberties encompass religious rights and religious freedoms in our country. So, uh, like the others here, I would, I would vote strenuously uh, and speak strenuously for uh, religious rights because there is so, there's so much wisdom in religion. I mean, I don't, whatever religion you are, some of the best writing, the most interesting stories, the, the loveliest narratives come out of our religious traditions. And to deny that, and to say that you, know, you can't post the Ten Commandments, or you can't tell a religious story in a school, or any of that nature, I find really uh, unfortunate and really silly. Because fundamentally, uh, where does our wisdom derive? 